going on YouTube? Just a quick video for you guys today. Got some new grips from Lock Custom Grips. These are the compact frags, and I managed to convince Jason over there to put this engraving on there. Had to pay a little bit more for it, but it was worth it to me. Uh, I really like the Lock Grips that he makes. This is for my PO1 Omega. I got him to put a hair in on there, and that's partially because I'm a dork. Actually, it's entirely because I'm a dork. Uh, the Wheel of Time Epic Fantasy series, a Blade Master had a heron marked blade, so I got heron marked grips for my gun to celebrate making Master in USPSA. You can check out that classifier. Follow me on the Rage to Master vlog there. So Jason is totally capable of doing this. Uh, the price was totally reasonable if I were to get some custom made wood grips, which I didn't really like as much. Uh, I would have cost significantly more than what he was willing to charge me for this. So he can do stuff like this. You just need to get him a high quality image. You can actually see, I'll put it on the screen, a copy of the image that we have here. And then I'll let you see some better photos outside. I don't know how this heron is coming back, but the detail is very fine. He. Uh, Looks like he took a very, very fine point and kind of etched everything out. And there's about three different layers that he, or three different depths that he carved it to. Now, per his recommendation, I ultimately did go for a solid color. I chose white as a tip of the hat to Patton with his pearl handled revolvers. So there's a lot of dorkery going on with these grips, but I love them. I think they're great. So if you've got something you want to commemorate or maybe just, you know, think outside the box and get some custom grips made. Uh, shoot Jason an email over at Lock Grips and he can get you taken care of. So, as always, appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, all that great stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.